The high cost of feed coupled with the current pricing structure for milk is making it more difficult for many Arkansas dairies to stay in business. Matt, Frederick, and Jason Simon, and their father Mike, own Simon Brothers Dairy in Conway. Like other dairymen in Arkansas, they're being forced to do things they haven't done before to keep going in the face of this year's drought. And this is the first year since we've grown a corn crop alongside the dairy that we've had to outsource anything that could have been grown here on the place. Um, this year we're going as far as to the southern state line to pick up hay. And as I said, that's the first time we've ever gone off the farm to get forage since we've been growing a grain or corn crop, which we use for our silage base on our forage. The number of dairies remaining in Arkansas has been on the decline for a number of years, dropping from 1,471 in 1982 to just over 100 farms today. State funds which supported the industry through the Arkansas Dairy Stabilization Program have ceased. This along with higher feed costs and an outdated and at times unprofitable milk marketing system is leading more dairymen to sell their cows and get out. There's just um, producer after producer leaving the industry and with the, the weather and the, the price structure that we're seeing at the moment, you know, sadly enough, we'll be lucky not to lose half the state's production by this time next year. The Simons transitioned from a beef cattle to dairy operation in 1994. Though it's hard on them financially, like everyone else, they're able to endure times like this better than some single owner operations because of their family structure. We can rely on each other for a lot of support and a lot of um, management type skills. And, and too, everything we do is, is because we are solely invested in our own operation. And to some point we have too much invested to quit. You know, it's the, the true optimism, looking for a better day is part of the reason you stay and you like say you just almost refuse to quit. The extreme heat this summer stressed the cows, resulting in decreased production. The Simons are compensating by feeding higher quality silage and feedstocks, but it's costing them more for that. Mike says their higher input costs will be felt by consumers in higher costs for milk products. Every single thing we buy is kind of like the lady in the grocery store on milk. It costs a lot more than it did the last time we bought it. And, uh, 100% of that increase right there is due to the high price of crude oil. And uh, so it's not just that, you know, that crude oil don't equate just to the gasoline in your car or the diesel in the tractor. It's every single thing you touch. And granted, our cost of production on a gallon of milk is directly related to our cost of purchased inputs to produce that gallon of milk. While the drought and higher cost of production may have been the final straw for some, Simon Brothers Dairy will endure because, as Matt says, they keep looking for the day when times will get better.